Hello everybody, welcome back to the Ham Shack. And, uh, well, I got the shack kind of like I want it right now. I have not ever put up the beam or a hex beam, a regular beam or a hex beam, as I've been talking about. Decided not to do that at this time. Uh, making lots of contacts. Uh, with the way I've got the wires set up outside and, uh, just regular wire antennas so I didn't feel the need to go ahead and put up the beam yet maybe later I'll let you know what I am doing right now and I just wanted to tell my astronomy uh, subscribers my old LX90 and let me get you a picture of that if you're not familiar with uh, the LX <clears throat> well, I'm having problems. Having problems. There we go. Anyway, if you're not familiar with the LX90, this is it right over here. As you can see right here. And I bought that thing back in, oh gosh, 2007, probably. And I bought it used. It was six months old when I bought it. Bought it from a, an astronomy uh, retail shop in North Carolina. And the fella told me that uh, he had sold it to a guy. And after having it about four or five months, uh, he brought it back, wanted his money back because it was too complicated <laughs> to use. So uh, he had it on his website. I saw it and bought it at the time. And it's been a really great scope for all those years, uh, 12 years. And finally, some of the electronics started letting go internal to the mount. The little hand controller I've tried to replace and fix. The little hand controller right here. <clears throat> I found another one and tried to substitute it. Put a new uh, control cable on it. Brand new. Not, none of those fixed it. And it just refuses to uh, do any go-to work at all. So I guess it's time to get rid of it. And what I've done, what I'm planning to do, is uh, keep the tube. So I'm going to defork this 8-inch uh, tube here. And uh, what I did was I went out and bought, and it's kind of new as of a year or so ago, uh, the uh, Ioptron Mini Tower Pro. I went out and bought that mount, and I uh, intend to... Uh, Try to mount that scope here. It's got a 33-pound weight limit on the right-hand side and a 10-pound limit on the left-hand side. So what I intend to do is uh, put my <coughs> little 80 millimeter uh, wide field refractor on this side, kind of light. I would say it doesn't weigh more than four pounds or something like that, five pounds. And then I'm going to mount that 8-inch uh, tube on the other side. And, of course, I'll have full go-to again uh, with the Mini Pro. So uh, stay tuned when I get that, uh, get it in. I, I ordered it a few days ago. It hadn't come in yet. As soon as I get that tube deforked and get it mounted on here, I'll do a little video, show you, show you how that turned out and uh, kind of do a little uh, how-to on the control, this particular Ioptron hand controller. I'll do a little how-to. Uh, once I get a little familiar with it, I'll put up a little video. So uh, I did that, and then I thought, well, you know, I'd like to have, I had an ETX-90, uh, like you see here, many years ago. And they came out with it again a year or so ago. Everybody tells me they upgraded everything on the inside. 
I had an ETX 90 at one time, and then I had an ETX 125. Uh, so I decided at the same time I wanted to downsize a little bit, so I'd have have a real small scope to kind of pick up and carry outside anytime I wanted to. So I stepped out there and I bought me one of these. This has come in already. I've tested it. I'll do a little video on it here probably next and kind of show you the little ETX uh, 90. <clears throat> Nothing fancy, but uh, so uh, guess what I'm trying to tell you is I'm going to wind up with two brand new setups here in the next few weeks. So let me get you back on my smiling face if I can do that. There I am, and uh, so I went out there and I bought a couple of telescopes. Uh, well, really, I bought a telescope, the ETX90, and a mount, the Mini Pro, and uh, we're going to see how that works out. I was real disappointed that the, uh, for no unknown reason, the uh, LX90 stopped working. I've tried all the easy stuff. Uh, I'd have to break it open and start looking around inside. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that, and I'm not going to try to get circuits inside repaired. It's got a bunch of age on it. I just don't think it's worth it. And I thought it would be easier to do if I just bought another mount and had brand new electronics and, you know, go on down the road that way. So with that said, I'm going to call this one a take. Uh, a little astronomy video kind of let you know what I'm doing right now. And remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. 73 and clear skies, guys. See you later. I'll have a couple of more up as soon as I get the scopes in and uh, get a chance to do a couple of videos. So stay tuned for that. Appreciate y'all. Subscribe. See y'all later.